Hey, what's up guys? It's Smasher, and today I'm bringing you the second part in a series on how to use each class in Ghost Recon Future Soldier. The first iteration covered snipers. You will find a link to everything that I've done so far in the description. Uh, this particular video is going to be covering the assault class. So, first and foremost, I know this is weird. With the assault class, don't take objectives. If, I mean, if you're the only one there, take it, but, you know, if you've got engineers and if snipers come behind you, set up. Be smart. Do not take objectives, and I'll tell you why. Because you need to take up position to protect your teammates. You are the best equipped person in the game to take on several charging enemies at once. The sniper, the engineer, should be the ones doing the arming if they're playing correctly. So, um, how, what do you do? Why are you the best equipped? One, you've got a superior gun. Now, if you've used all classes extensively, you guys know that the guns for the assault class are far superior to the other guns. They have more firepower, they have bigger magazines, and, and on top of that, they have great control, and you have an under-barrel grenade launcher if you've ranked it up enough. So, what do I advise? I advise pushing all the way up to the front and taking, taking up position to protect the objective. Now, what I like to do is keep, keep an eye out of where the rest of your team is and just hold down an entire area. In this case, the objectives to my back right, so they either got to come through me or they got to flank all the way around. So what I like to do is set up in here, and you can see I'm just using the underbell grenade launcher for when they make it in past my regular gun to take them out from behind cover. I'm not a big advocate of spamming the, uh, the underbarrel for BS reasons, like people just like to fire them into their spawns and, you know, spam people just, just I don't know, they, they like to noob tube rather than kill people run around. That, that weapon is used, should be used tactically. And when I say tactically, it's for taking out people behind cover. And that is exactly what it's for. Now, again, you know, I, I've said this before, but the biggest, biggest thing with, with uh, Ghost Recon is you need to slow your roll. This isn't like a typical shooter. You need to go real slow and and take your time, set up positions, take cover. It's it's not camping in this game. And, and I'll tell you it's because the way it was the game was designed is to take up cover and protect and or attack objectives. Now, if you're if you should be attacking and you're and you're sitting back with the sniper rifle, yeah, you're camping and you're being freaking useless. If as an assault guy, you should be on the front lines taking and flanking for an objective. And if you're not, if you happen to be uh, defending, which is what we're doing right here at this point in the video, you want to take up cover and you want to sit there. Don't push them into their spawn so they get an alternate location. You want to set up real smart, get a clear line of sight, and then on top of that, make sure that you're covering as wide of an area as possible because, again, you are the best equipped to take out people. You should be doing the majority of the killing. And that's that. So, um... On, on to the next thing here. While you're protecting the objective, just mow everybody down. Again, you're the best equipped to do it. Just grab some cover and choose your cho choke points wisely. This one here, oh man, I just got whacked from behind that cover. That's pretty crazy. Um, it happens from time to time. This is peer-to-peer -peer hosting, so uh, you know it's not always the uh, most pleasant uh, way to, to set up video games, but um, that's for another video. So... Um, another thing that I wanted to point out here, and this is, this is it, is, is watch here. I'm going to run around this corner and attempt to flank him and I'm going to die. Okay. Sacrifice for the greater good as an assault guy. Because in, in all honesty, if you get around behind these guys, you again are best equipped when you're attacking objective to take out three, four, five guys on the objective and your team comes swooping in. Very important. So, I also want to um, touch on right here on hacking. Now, regardless of class, hacking is the most powerful tool in this entire game. And I, I don't care what you guys say to try and defend that. And I'll explain why. Right here, their team, I'm going to hack this guy. I'm going to die for it. Completely worth it, in my opinion. And first of all, for you point whores out there, 750 for the hack press uh, or hold down RB hit up and a boom I get a coordinated kill another 150 plus the 250s for the stun for a grand total of 1800 points just for killing one guy now I'm getting 300 points per kill assist for you point whores that that is huge payoff now 
Why is this tactically advantageous for any class? Right now, they kill our entire team off the objective, but they're all lit up. So what's going to happen now is everybody on our team is going to go after the lit up guys. They're either going to do the, the coordinated kills or they're just going to go after them. Now, I noticed behind me I got an engineer, so I take off there and try and grab some cover. But they, uh, they killed everybody else on the team because they were lit up. So now all these guys got to run from their spawn so we can easily take the objective. And that's, that, my friends, is why this is the most important weapon in the game. Uh, hacking is, is a big deal, and you guys should learn how to do it. Um, at the very least, I have friends who, uh, who is pretty good at shooting people in the back of the legs and knocking them down. Um, you know, and, and uh, I personally don't do that. I carry the stun gun because I'm never good enough with, precise enough with the gun to do that. Uh, but it, it, it works out depending on your play style, how you want to do it. Now, uh, again, this goes back to being patient here. We've taken the objective. There's no reason to k run around kill whoring and, and being generally, uh, you know, in their spawn, pushing them in their spawn and giving them an alternate spawn location. That's one of the most frustrating things that I, I find against these guys is that uh, typically your teammates, when, when you're dominating like we are in this particular game, they want to, um, oh, give me a second here, I'm, I'm going to point out here. If you come around a corner, you should be hitting X before you come around that corner if you know an enemy is there. Because you're, you're going you're gonna to win the melee. I guarantee it. Spam X. Pre-fire the corners with X and be a douchebag. It works every single time. Um, I, have rare, I rarely, rarely get beat when I'm, when I'm spamming X. Um, so... Uh, here again pointing out you should be playing the objective and that goes for every class if the objective changes get out of your hidey hole you were in get out of your cover move to the other side of the map reposition and get yourself in a better position to protect the objective again you're playing as an assault guy your primary primary goal is to knock down the enemies so that you guys can defend well and if you're playing in harmony uh, like my team is in this particular game you are going to do well um, I don't advise running out and uh, getting kills because you're just going to get killed yourself and then your team's going to swoop in there. So what I'm doing right here is uh, kind of dumb. And uh, I would just like to throw that out there for what it's worth. <laughs> um, not everything I do is, is, is smart, but um, at least I can point out there when I'm failing at stuff. So you see this entire area over here that I'm covering. Now, pretty much every game, I'm going to put ammo down, by the way, too. If you're running if you're running as an assault guy, you should put down ammo. And I'll get back to that in a second. But you see, I have, I have two entrances that I'm covering here by myself. Now, I see all my teammates back there, and they're all covering the other side. So the second I get smoked, um, I am playing with some friends. So I called, I called my buddies like, hey, I'm getting smoked. We're going to get wrecked um, from the front. Because smoke is, is a pretty powerful tool if you've got a bunch of guys rushing at once. Um, they, they did, uh, they only ran two guys in, so they, they killed both of us, unfortunately, but we were able to, uh, bring enough guys up to, to cover that area in time. Um, so back to the ammo thing. When you run, or, or, or I take that back. I'm going to go back to this ammo in a second. This area of coverage. So one assault guy with his weapon is powerful enough to cover this entire area by himself. And... Unless they were to rush three, four guys in at once and then spam grenades or something, you're going to be able to hold it down by yourself because your character is powerful enough to do that. You just need to sit here and be patient. Now, ammo. I'm running ammo. I threw ammo down over there. My guys are reloading. I'm not only am I going to get 150 points for supplying enemies or supplying my teammates with stuff, but typically the guys you're rearming are going to be engineers who are spamming sensors. And so, you got, if, if he's sitting there spamming sensors, how much easier does that make your job? Not only that, but he's going to get a bunch of points for doing that as well. And we're going to knock down the morale of the enemy team. So, I know in this game, I, I'm not a big uh, advocate of, of playing some psychological warfare. But in this game, um, as you can see there, psychological warfare is, uh, I believe, is kind of a, uh, a part of it that I, I, I really enjoy. Um, you only have six on six, right? So if you lose one guy, you are at a big, big disadvantage. And I am a big advocate of uh, 
demeaning, demoralizing the other team by, you know, there's a bunch of different ways to do that. But uh, when you when you hack people, it, that's like like teabagging times 100, by the way. <laughs> I've never been in a game where I've seen so many people just like group bagging somebody um, when they do something. It's so weird, man. I, I'm not, I'm, I typically am not, not a big, big teabagger, but uh, I see people, like, pretty much every time I hack somebody, you get a bunch of randoms that are teabagging, it's so weird. Anyways, this here, I use the frag grenade, and when you throw the frag grenade, it's briefly like a stun grenade. Um, so, after you throw a frag, and you know somebody else does not does not have a shot on you, the smart thing to do is to immediately run after the enemy, and try to kill them while they're still disoriented and getting back up. That, that in my opinion, is, a, is the smartest way to use grenades. Spam grenades and, and use them to demoralize the enemy off objectives. If these guys keep trying to arm an objective and they get blown up, one assault guy, again, can prevent them from arming it and uh, until your team gets there, especially if it's one of the ones that go, goes into there, you have to arm it right next to their spawn. That is a very important um, way to keep them off. And you can keep grabbing grenades and giving them to yourself. You may not always kill these guys, but they're not going to want to keep getting on the objective if they keep getting shot off every time. It can be very, very frustrating to the enemy. So, you know, I think the majority of people play Assault halfway decent, but beside the fact that they like to... Sp to uh, push people back into their objectives and then they get an alternate spawn location and it screws everything up. Um, but for the, you know, it, so far, it, most of the teammates that play this play it halfway decent. It's not like the snipers who have no clue what they're doing. So this video is coming to an end, guys. Make sure that you uh, throw down your comments in the se comment section down there and tell me what you think and, uh, and uh, any tips that you may have that'll help everybody else out. Because, uh, again, this is just here for the community to help everybody out and help you understand the game better and, and work better as a team. Because if everybody was playing the way their class, the way it was intended to be played, this would just be, uh, uh, it, you, you would bull over the team every time. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and don't forget to subscribe.